Okay. So we want to find the eleventh term of this sequence. We could just keep. We can tell we're adding ten every time. You could just keep adding until you get to the eleventh one. But what if they had asked for the hundred and eleventh? You wouldn't want to do that. So we have formulas. If you're adding the same thing every time, you're using an arithmetic sequence, right? Yeah. And so it's an arithmetic sequence. We want to find the nth term. So we're pulling out the formula a sub n is the first term plus the common difference times n minus 1. So your first term is a negative 3. The common difference is 10 times n minus 1. Actually, in this case, n is 11. The 11th term means n is 11, so I'll put that in right away, because that's okay. the only thing they want. So it's negative 3 plus 10 times 10 is negative 3 plus 100 is 97, and that should do it. Now to check it, just for fun, let's take this out to the 11th term. So this is the first term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleven. Keep adding 27, 10, I'm sorry. So 37, 47, 57, 67, 77, 87, 97, heck yeah, we found it. So if your teacher uses small numbers, you can check your answer, not a problem. Heck yeah. Okay.